There are cases that uh, you need to free some space on your disk and you start removing very large files, for example, large log files. And after removing these files, you notice there is no change on the available disk space on your computer, on your instance. For example, here you see that I have a very large file, two gigabyte in my EC2 instance, and uh, I don't have much available disk space. I just remove the file from my EC2 instance. However, after deleting, I see there is no change between the available disk space after and before removing the file. So the question is now, what is the problem here? The problem is there is a process that still is using that file and it doesn't you know, free the disk space that have been taken by that file. In such a case, as the command that you have to use is lsof or list open files. If I run lsof and use plus l1, this command is going to show me which processes actually are they're still using that file. And by finding that process, I can kill that and then allow the disk to get released. So here I can see this is my file that I just removed. And the process that is using is this uh, process ID. There is a cat command that was you know, displaying the file. So I, if I terminate this process by kill command, say kill dash 91085, and then run the df command again, I see now the disk space is released. That's actually that. Uh, the key feature that LSOF command presents to us and can be very, very helpful in this sort of troubleshooting.